What is up guys, I'm here from Sananima bringing you some breaking news released by Apple today at the Apple event in California and the product that was announced today is the iPad mini. So let's get started here. The iPad mini features a 7.9 inch retina display with a 1024 by 768 pixel resolution giving it 163 pixels per inch. Uh, it has the same 275,000 apps that are made for the iPad that can be downloaded on the iPad mini. It uh, features a lot of the same things that are found on the iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch 5, like ultra fast wireless. The iPad mini comes in black and slate along with white and silver, so just like the iPhone. It ships with Wi Fi and Wi Fi Plus cellular, like the iPad. It is 0.28 inches thin or 7.2 millimeters. It is 5.3 inches wide and 7.87 inches tall and it weighs 0.68 pounds. It comes in a 16, 32 or 64 gigabyte model. It is available with AT&T Sprint and Verizon. It features a dual core A5 chip just like the iPod Touch 5. It has a FaceTime HD camera on the front, which is 1.2 megapixels, shoots 720p HD video. On the rear, there's the same iSight camera found on the iPod Touch, 5 megapixels. It video records at 1080p HD, so pretty similar to the iPod Touch here. Very good quality. It uh, has the same lightning connector and adapter, has the same lightning port, so that'll be convenient. It has a 10 hour battery and if you're using cellular data, it is 9. Uh, it has a gyroscope, accelerometer, again features Wi-Fi and has a digital compass. If you have the cellular version, it gives you GPS assistance. It includes built in apps like photo booth, so that comes with it. It is built out of all aluminum, so the body is a, an all aluminum unibody, I believe. The prices that were announced for the Wi-Fi version only, it is 16 gigabytes, $329, 32 gigabyte, $429, and for the 64 gigabyte Wi-Fi model, $529. If you have 3G or 4G cellular data added to that, for the 16 gigabyte model, it is $459. For the 32 gigabyte model, it is $559. And for the 64 gigabyte model, it is $659. So, these prices are cheaper than the iPad, obviously. Do I think it is worth it to buy it? In my opinion, if I had to choose between the iPad mini and the iPad, honestly, I would probably go with the iPad mini. It is only about two inches smaller in terms of screen size. And it's basically the, you know, the same experience, it's just smaller. So if you're a more compact person, you like to have your device is smaller on the smaller side, then I would definitely recommend the iPad mini. It's also cheaper. Compared to the iPad starting price with Wi-Fi, it's 500. Compared to the starting price of the iPad mini, 16 gig, it is 329. So you do save money. I read on Apple's website that the iPad mini, it's small enough to hold in your hand. So that's convenient, that could be convenient. With the iPad, you really can't hold it in one hand. You have to hold it with two, so that could definitely be a benefit to some people that like to, you know, could be doing one thing in one hand and hold the iPad mini in the other hand while you're writing something down. I don't know. So, as far as the release date is concerned, pre-orders start on October 26, which is in three days. Or you can buy the Wi-Fi model at your local retail Apple store starting at 8 a.m. on November 2nd. Um, the Wi-Fi and cellular models will be available to ship uh, mid-November. Be on the lookout for that. This looks really nice. In my opinion, I think it'd be cool to have the iPad mini over the iPad just because it's smaller. You know, it's not so huge. And that's what she said. And uh, so anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, thought it was helpful, please like the video. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I answer all questions and stuff like that. Shoot me a private message, anything. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.